Hello YouTube, this is that Yi guy. Today we got the Destined for Destruction May Update Reveal article. So in this article, they rehash a lot of things that we already heard uh, from the roadmaps about things that we're gonna get. But I want to go over it, potentially give you some of my thoughts, uh, things to watch out for, and give you some data that might be relevant to you uh, where we don't have access for yet in the Western release. The first thing we're going to get is the Legion Ray Vault 10 normal and hard mode. So this is going to be really fun. Uh, it's mostly going to be dark damage. So that's time when uh, different card set will become pretty relevant. So if you have Lost Wind Clip with enough uh, Peace Awakening, you're going to get both damage reduction and the crit rate uh, if you have all the awakenings for it. This is the time and moving forward uh, all these raids will be primarily dark. So that's when all the sets like Lost Wind Cliff and different sets like Light of Salvation potentially start becoming more and more useful. So that's one thing to watch out for. Another thing is that unlike Argos, there are going to be different gates. It's two gates which are checkpoints. So we don't have to do all of this in a row. You can potentially do this separately and I believe queue for each section separately. To do normal, you need 1415 and to do hard, you need 1445. And there are a lot of one-shot mechanics, so warn up your keyboard and your mouses. It's going to be very interesting to see if we can learn and improve our uh, ability to do Vault 10. All you need for it is going to be 3x3 engraving. You do not need the 4th engraving, of course, it's nice to have it. In my last video that I put out yesterday, I recommend 3x3. There's another reason for it. It's because we're going to get Relic level accessory. So right now, if we look at our accessory, the best we can do is 3 uh, one engraving, 3 to the other engraving, and then stats. But with Relic, we're going to get potentially 5 to one engraving and 3 to another engraving. So it's going to be much easier potentially to get to the 4 times 3 once Relic exists in the game. So that's another reason why I don't think you should spend too much money before Vault 10 comes out on getting the 4 times 3. One thing to note, of course, Relic accessories are unlike what we have right now. So it's not guaranteed that you get the class engraving right off the bat as one of the roles on the jewelry. So potentially that's something you want to watch out for. Uh, the specific way to get uh, 4 times 3 will require a lot more RNG, which means that you're going to be glad that you saved up Fion when this content comes out. Each piece of relic accessory will cost 25 Fions to purchase. Uh, it sounds like a lot and sounds expensive, don't worry, Relic Accessory is not something on day one you buy up every single piece because the market won't be there and you're going to be using Relic for a long, long time. So don't worry about not having the perfect gear right off the bat. Be a little patient with it. You're going to save a lot of money and you're going to save a lot of headaches in the long run if you just set your expectations correctly. I get this question a lot. You can do uh, normal at 1415 and hard at 1445. There are some people that grind it super hard and they are telling me they have the resources to get two characters to 1415 or they can get one character to 1445. And they ask me what's more efficient. Well, right now it's hard to tell, but uh, 1445 versus 1415, a split across two characters, you are gonna get more loot if you have two different characters at 1415 than just having one in 1445. Deska Luda Guardian Raid, it's going to be pretty nice. It's going to be a relatively easy fight. It is way easier than Valganos. Uh, Valganos at 1385 uh, is just not efficient. So most people will do uh, Fox Yoho and Deska Luda is going to be more similar to Firefox Yoho than it is to Valganos. So Descaluda is going to be really good because you can also get relic accessories from defeating Descaluda. The Destroyer Events class. This is like my boy kind of class. You're going to be slow. Uh, imagine a gun lancer, but you give up on the taunt and the shield 
instead you focus more on heavy hits and damage. Uh, instead of having more defensive buffs, uh, Destroyer is going to have debuffs for your enemy. So it's going to be really good to have a Destroyer to shred the enemy defenses and make everyone do more damage. You should make a Warrior character if you have an extra character slot. Make a Warrior, do not pick your class. And just once Destroyer comes out, you have all the rest energy saved up. You'll be able to do 5 extra Chaos worth of uh, loot and 5 extra Guardians worth of loot. So I tested this specifically for Glavier and I have confirmed that it does work in the Western version. A quick note about Destroyer, you're going to be able to get the new version of Destroyer. So Korea has gone through a balance change. A lot of classes have gotten changed, some minor nerfs, minor buffs to give everything relatively a similar power level in terms of raw DPS. So I'm going to link this down below as well to a fantastic site, maxroll.gg. They have excellent build guides and things like that, and they're going to give you all the changes. So if you look up a guide on Destroyer right now, that is already out of date because the changes with Destroyer is really significant. Uh, it makes it much, much smoother to play. So it's not nearly as clunky and a lot of mechanics have been changed. So I'm excited for Destroyer personally. Uh, I've been stockpiling a little bit. I, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. Challenge Guardian Raid. Um, that's something I mentioned when I was talking about the role maps. So Guardian Raids, it will be balanced out. Uh, you're just going to still scale on your engravings. Uh, you're just going to be able to go through it and do this every week. So the roster reward is really high. So this is something that I think will be fun to do. Uh, be able to go back to the older Guardians and do them at the equalized level. And the rewards every week will be quite good. Uh, it will be roster-wide reward every week and a lot of fun. South Vern activities. Chaos Line hard mode. For people who don't know, Chaos Line right now is a weekly event that you're able to do. Um, you can go in and at 1370, you can do the normal. And if I remember correctly, you can do the hard mode at 1415. Uh, same, same as the Vault 10. And you can get a lot of rewards. This is not going to be a weekly. So once you buy out this shop, uh, you're just done. One thing I want to warn you, do not stockpile this material ahead of time. Because for the hard mode, you're going to get actually a different currency than this one. So you're going to get a purple currency with its own version of the shop. So you don't have to rush this. This is more like Anguish Isle. Once you buy out everything, you just run out of things to buy. And I put this in another document, everything you can get from the hard mode. You can get legendary focus room uh, for this price. Overall, you can get a lot of shards, 1K destruction stone, one, uh, 3K guardian stone actually, 30 pouches large, and this is huge. You can buy greater honor lead times 10, 20 times. So this is 200 greater on the leap you can get on your account. And that's going to be really good. Underwing field boss is going to be the new field boss. Uh, it's if you don't have the star from Milwaukee, try to get it ASAP because once you can do Thunderwing, you really want to do Thunderwing because you want the relic accessory. Uh, once this comes out, I'm going to do some testing, do some research, see what's the lowest level you can be in order to get the drops on Thunderwing and give you guys a new video uh, and give you guys new video update if I find out something interesting about that. The South Vern Chaos Gate, South Vern Ghost Ship, all these are the same content we've been doing but scaled up more. Now South Vern Chaos Dungeon, that's going to be really good because right now the highest we can do is 1400. But once we can do 14, 15 and higher, we can potentially farm relic accessories. So that's going to be quite good. People will probably start doing infinite chaos. Wild Wing Island. Uh, I don't need to go too deep into this. This is pretty much a big KFC chicken commercial. Uh, you're just going to play as chicken and you just do, do chicken stuff. So new guild activities. So Island Siege 
open world PvP where you can compete for rewards, raid matches. So this is gonna be PvP based guild content and there's some PvE based as well. So this is gonna be fun if you have a coordinated guild. You should shop around for a good guild at this point, I think. And it could be fun if you can find the right group of people to do this with. The only special thing I want to mention is that open world PvP with this might become more and more popular. If you watch my stats video, you'll know that there are two stats specifically designed for PvP, and that is the domination and expertise. So with the open world PvP, there are potentials for things like this to be worth something. If you have perfect engravings and domination and expertise, it is possible that open world PvP for people who want to min max for that they might be interested in stuff with those stats Chaos wardrobe uh the new outfits we're gonna get this is more summer casual wear uh i have very mixed feelings about this uh because i i have that exact shirt and those exact shorts probably not as short as what you see here but yeah i have that outfit it's a pretty generic uh modern sleek urban style and the uh, casual outfits, they're pretty good. This is really cool sports short shorts. And I have friends with that exact look. I have multiple Korean friends with that exact jacket, I'm pretty sure. Um, so if you like style like this, it'll be great. Uh, it's not very skimpy, but part of me don't hate it. It seems okay. Um, yeah, it's just casual wear for people who want it. We have elegant version, now we have casual version. <laughs> Quality of life update, front and back attack indicator, that's gonna be really good. So right now we have certain classes that care a lot about back attack and front attack. With the indicator, what that's gonna do is around the boss, there will be a circle. And then certain sections of that circle will be colored to be front, certain section colored to be back. That's gonna help you a lot when you're trying to decide whether or not a certain hit is gonna be front hit or back hit. Uh, that's especially important for countering because countering has to be a front attack. This is a very good quality of life. Another thing is check daily and weekly content participation. That's gonna be exciting for some people because if you go to here uh, in the Korean Russian version or something like this, uh, as you're switching, you're gonna actually see a box that tells you you did the Chaos Dungeon on the server, uh, on this character to today, and if you've done the Guardians for this character, this Unas, and everything. So it's gonna make playing alt much easier to manage and organize. UI update, uh, of course, always welcome. Improves party play finder. Yep, updated loot dismantling. So this is gonna be great. Because uh, right now, you don't want to automatically disis uh, disassemble some of these jewelry. Like if it's the like, wrong stat, but it might still be the right engraving. Now, if you want to just have an easy way to organize this, say, example, you don't care if it's something has domination. You can just set it that it would delete and scrap all the domination jewelry, for example. So that's going to be a really exciting update for me personally. Balance tuning and updates. That's something I mentioned earlier. Definitely check out Alasia class balance patch on macro.gg. You can see all the changes that are coming for the classes. That's actually pretty much it. Um, hopefully this is interesting. I'll include this link down below if you want to check it out. Uh, once again, you don't have to panic. You don't have to rush because once you buy it out of the shop, it's just gone. So uh, you're not in a rush to get this done. So, yep. So yeah, I'm gonna have a stream on YouTube on Sunday uh, for a couple hours since I've been busy the past two weeks. Uh, yeah, work life is very stressful. So hopefully I'll get to hang out with people, just chat and just do random things. Definitely join the Discord uh, if you like. We have a growing Discord. So I'm gonna put the link down below as well. Grab a roll and just coordinate and just come chat. That's gonna be fun. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.